Hello everyone, I'm back. Took me a month, I think, to release a new video, but I was traveling in my home country in Argentina, then I get back here for just one day to Toronto. We present the agent framework. This is what we are going to talk today. And then I moved to Ottawa, then go back to Orlando, and I'm back here. And I have several ideas, several demos. I want to use how you can use really MCP with C-sharp in a dynamic way, because that's something that they ask in Orlando. And I have a couple of other scenarios. But today, one of the questions that we have, and I don't think I've seen any of the demos yet there, we need to update this, is how we can use MCP tools with an agent using the new agent framework, which is kind of easy if you know the MCP C-sharp SDK and you know a little about extension AI and the new agent framework. This is what we are going to see today. As always, I appreciate the subscribe, like, and more, but hey, I really want to do this, so let's start right now. Okay, so let's start with a very simple scenario where I already put some of the samples that you know, and I have here a Hugging Face MCP class that is going to create the MCP client to Hugging Face, use a user secret with a Hugging Face token, and then connect to the MCP server. Once we have this, we are going to return two elements here, the client and the, the list of tools. We need the clients to have the context, but we are going to show the tools. In case you don't know, and this is new here, if we go back to Hugging Face, when you have a Hugging Face account, you have the chance to connect to the MCP server, and you're going to have these tools available, semantic search, model search, data set, and the one that we are going to use later, which is the Flux One Snell tool. So let's give this a try, and let's run this one time to see how it works have here the connection, and as we can see here, we have the list of tools, who am I, space search, model search, and everything else. The next step will be to connect to a chat client. We are going to use Microsoft Extension for AI here, and we are going to use two options here. If I have a user secret with a GitHub token, we are going to create a client, a chat completion client using the GitHub token, or in this scenario, I have some secrets to use Azure OpenAI, and I'm going to create an Azure OpenAI model. And I think that by default, I am going to try to create a GPT-5 mini model. So let's give this a try and let's start to write some code to create an agent that is going to use the Hugging Face MCP tools. Okay, so the first thing that we need is a chat client. So let's create a new chat client. Let's do some. And I have here the chat client provider and has the get chat client. So now we have our chat client. I am going to add some extra tools here. I already have the dependencies created here where I have all that we need to connect to Azure OpenAI. We have the agent framework here, extension AI, and we are also going to add later some telemetry. But right now what we are going to do, let's go back to the program. And when we have the chat client, I am going to create also a trace provider so we can add some telemetry. I am going to copy this directly from the, from the documentation. And we have here SDK create trace provider, and we are going to name this agent telemetry source. This is super important later. If we want to have an example uh, information about this, I like to see this in Azure Monitor or in Azure in Aspire, where we have all of these. And when we have this, now that we have this, let's create the agent. And the agent is going to be kind of a big one. And we are going to use one super cool extension that we have here, which is chat client. And we have here the chance to create an AI agent, which is come from the extensions AI, and also is an extension that is added by the Microsoft agent framework. With all of this, I am not going to write all the code, but I have here my create AI agent. And as you can see here, we have image generator, we have the instruction that we're going to say that you are an image generation agent that use the tools from the Hugging Face MCP. If the user asks to create an image, use the Flux One tool, and we have the name of the tool. If the user asks to create an edit image, the image should always be pixelated. And we are going to also have a description, the list of tools that we have here on the top, where we have the MCP client and the list of tools. And of course, later we are going to add the telemetry. Let me update the using so we get avoid get away from this ugly error. And let me also import this so we have the right one here. So we have here the image generator. So now let's test this with a couple of prompts. In order to do this, I am going to run this and I need to create a message. So let's start with a very simple message to test the agent 
with a simple tell me jokes about kittens. When we run this, we are going to have the list of tools. Of course, we are not going to use any tools here, but we have here why the kitten joined the computer class to learn how to use the, use the mouse. Well, it's kind of nice. So let me change this now to something more something more extensive, like an example. What is the name of the user logged into the Hugging Face MCP server? Because I am using my account, what we expect here is to have my account name, which is going to be El Bruno. So let's go back here and we see here that the, log the logged in user is El Bruno. And we have a lot of telemetry here in the port. What we like in terms, like an example, input token, input token, output token, which is the model that we are using, the finished reasons, and more. So let's go for the final sample, which is okay. Let's modify the the message to generate an image, create an image of a raccoon in Canada. And remember that by default, our agent has some set of instruction that is going to say that if you want to generate an image, use the GR1 flux Stanley first and always generate pixelated image. So let's give this one a try. This is going to to take a little longer because it's going to generate the image and it's going to provide the URL to the final image. There it is. We have the generated image and let's open this. And there it is, the image of a raccoon in Canada just generated, which is kind of nice, what we have here. If you want to learn more, of course, take a look at Luis' article, explain everything about making as a, a, how we can use it in framework C Sharp. As you see here, the integration, everything that we have, is already, we already know about Microsoft Attention for AI, MCP, and more. Super simple, 40 lines of code, and we have everything ready. And we can probably delete all of this and make it simpler. In 10 lines of code, we can have everything up and running. And I also like that, hey, we have here the tokens, we have here telemetry, and more. Super, super interesting. And that's it. As you've seen, it's literally 10 lines of code. You need to have an iChat client, and then you need to have an MCP client, get the list of tools, put it all together, and that's it. Everything is part of the same framework, the same idea in C Sharp, Microsoft Extension AI, Microsoft the NCP C Sharp, and more, the agent framework. So it's easy, easy to connect the dots, and you can literally avoid everything else. And by the way, I use it with Azure AI Foundry. You can use with GitHub Copilot, with, Copilot, uh, with GitHub models, with local models, and more. Hey, probably next video is going to be how you can orchestrate a model in Azure with a local model and something else. If you are interested, let me know, and I will probably... I will probably know. I am going to do that. A, lo a local model, a cloud model, or different cloud models, one from one provider for the other, and a couple of local models. Let that is probably going to be the next one. That says, I appreciate the likes, subscribes, and more. See you next one. Goodbye.